everyone hope everybody's okay and um, just coming on to do a quick project and um, that I've been working on and it's a light box I'm sure you've seen them all over the place <laughs> um, anyway you're gonna need two pieces of card and you need one that measures let me see 8 inch by 8 inch and you need one that measures the 8 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter okay and you're going to score them at 1 and 1 eighth all the way round and then cut and notch your corners okay then on the top that's the base <laughs> on the top you're going to need do exactly the same, score at one and one eighth, notch out your corners, okay, and then on the inside you're going to take a craft knife or if you're comfortable doing it on your um, trimmer, which I did, <laughs> um, you're going to go in an inch from the outside and just cut in one inch around all sides as you can see there I made a bit of a boo-boo but I'll rectify that in a minute <laughs> so then you're going to need a piece of DSP your designer paper and you're going to do exactly the same this measures six by six and all I've done is gone in an inch on all four sides and that's given me that frame so you can either mark it with a pencil and go in with your craft knife or you can do it on your trimmer it's entirely up to you um, I did do the second piece with my craft knife <laughs> so let's get that stuck on first of all if I can find glue that will work for me so no I can't do that yet <laughs> We'll have to glue these corners down first because I need to put me vellum under this. So we'll get these corners stuck down. And again, I'm just using my you can use you'll have use time to use glue which I would suggest for this, to be honest with you. I just wanted to get on and get it as quickly as I could. Because I know people don't like sitting watching long videos and some of mine do tend to be long because I yap <laughs> and it's funny because then when I'm concentrating I shut up <laughs> so we'll just get this all put together she says nice corners now sorry I'm just putting my corners together okay so there's the lid of our box and we're going to do exactly the same for the base of our box so I'm just going to run some glue tell you sticky stuff doesn't like me but none of you believe me I don't think even this is starting to play up now. Okay. 
Okay, get this sorted out. Get this box put together. Sorry, I'm out of view again. I'm just sticking my corners in. And this is the base of our box. And you can buy these light boxes um, everywhere. But what's the point when you, it's quite easy for you to make your own? Come on, get in. Stop being awkward. Thank you. <laughs> right, so there's our box. All the corners done. Okay. Um, I've got my lights, which I can spread around inside my box. But what I do want to do is I want to create a hole on the side so that you can flip it on and off. So I will do that in a minute. So then I cut a piece of vellum cardstock um, and that is six by six. Okay, and we're going to stamp on this. And I'm going to use the Carols of Christmas stamp set and I have it in the red rubber. And we'll use Deck the Halls, I think. If I can get it out. We'll use Deck the Halls. And this is Block D. One of the best sold blocks on Stampin' Up. And I want to try and get it in exactly in the middle. because we've got our border going round. And I'm just going to use the black, or shall I use the green, the black ar ar archival ink I'll use, sorry. Um, and I can use the green to add little bits. So I've just inked up my stamp. Why does that look? Hang on a minute. That's it. <laughs> I held it upside down and I'm just going to stamp directly in the middle and try not to move this when you're stamping on vellum because um, vellum doesn't like it really. <laughs> Okay, so that's give us our deck, the holes. Um, should we add a couple of decorative bits? Will we be able to see them, do you think? We shall give it a go. So I'll take that off because I'll have to clean that. And I do have my stamp and scrub. So I will clean all these after I've finished and I'm not taking them up I can go in about there because we're going to lose an inch off all the sides Okay, and we'll do that again over the other side. Now you will have to take a minute and let this dry. Because <laughs> the archival ink dries fairly quickly, but this is just normal ink, the green that I'm using. So it won't dry as quick. I can always blast it, I suppose. Yeah, I think we'll have to heat blast it so I can carry on working with it. 
otherwise it will turn into a long video <laughs> right I'm gonna put my heat tool on so if you've got me on loud turn me down now <laughs> And I'm just going to lift this off my mat because I don't want it melting again. Just see under the light whether it's drying off. So as you can see it is drying it, but I just don't want it smudging on me. That'll have to do I'm afraid. Okay, so that's going to cover the top there, okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this backwards, <laughs> try and do it, I'm going to take some red line tape, if I can find at the end, yep, yeah. and all I'm going to do is, I'm going to go right round my box where's my scissors try and use non-stick scissors with the, this red line stuff Okay, that was Mel concentrating by the way. <laughs> right, so we're going to peel our back off. She says. Come on. Do you know? They should get me to product test sticky stuff, you know. Painful, painful. <laughs> I thought oh, I'll do this quick job. We're blaming the sticky stuff.
Okay, so now we're going to stick this on there, line it up, to make sure we have no edges bulging out. And I've got my nail stuck to it. There we go, stick down. <laughs> right, and this one is going to get stuck over the top. Okay, so that lied our little mistake we done by when we measured. And I'm going to stick this on with wet glue. <laughs> I've decided. sticky stuff and me don't know what my dog's barking at because the hubby's not in right here we go Okay, let's get this stuck down on our frame. So I'm going to take the base off and I'm just going to lie that down on top there so it will give it a chance to stick and then we're going to make a hole in this and all I'm going to use is my larger hole punch and I'm just going to go in at the side and what I'm going to do is get it right down to the bottom punch Move it over a little touch, punch, and punch. <laughs> I just want to make the hole just a little bit bigger. That's all I'm trying to do. So now I can tuck that in. Okay, and I'm going to grab a couple of dimensionals, the bigger ones. Stick them onto the back of our battery pack. And these are cool lights, they're not hot at all. So they will not set fire to anything or burn anything. And I'm just going to stick that where I've just done that hill. <laughs> and I'll show you now. 
so that was the hole I created and we've now got our battery pack stuck with the little I don't know whether you can see it sticking out yeah so we've done that hopefully our lid I'm going to turn them on our lid will be stuck now and you can always stick this down so that the lid can't be taken off Okay, so there's our light box stuck down and I've got some of this tinsel trim and I was going to put it round, see round the frame, um, if my glue will allow me. Just run a bead of glue just around that frame. the yard end up a bit and I'll give you the good tip see if you have cotton or baker's twine or anything that tends to like unravel in itself just put a little dab on the end and just squash it all into it and that will stop that from unraveling okay so there's a quick little tip for you so I'm just going to stick this into our glue that we've just put down. I'm going to do it all the way round just to give it a bit more shimmer. You'll have longer to sit and sort yours than what I've got. I think I should definitely do product testing for sticky stuff. Because it either doesn't like the sea air or it doesn't like me. It's one or the other. <laughs> right. <laughs> Stop messing with it, Mel. Just get on with it. And I'll turn the lights off in here so you can get the full effect right get that out my sight Okay, so there we go. So let me turn this light off so you can see the sort of effect you'll get. And there you go. And as you can tell, this is very early in the morning and I've not had enough coffee. So there's your light box. And as I say, we have our switch on the side so we can switch it on and off. So I hope you give that a go. Don't go out wasting your money on these light boxes when you can quite easily make them yourself. 
Okay, ladies and gents. Um, so that's it. Take care and I'll speak to you probably tomorrow. All the best. Bye.